Welcome back to Charles Plays Quick. Charles in the house. We are now standing at the beginning of the next level, Satan's Dark Delight. This is another mini skill level, episode 3 seems to love those. You can see the exit just up there. However, it's not the exit we will be taking, and if you can put two and two together, that means this level houses the entrance to the secret level. Anyway, let's begin by murdering this pair of ogres. Ogres ain't shit. Fuck you both for taking more than two green aids. The room ahead houses two paths you can take. One is an elevator, which will take you up to the exit. It's blocked off for now, and there are no pickups, so going that way is pointless. The other requires you to get your feet wet. It's time for a swim, motherfuckers. There are some of those spastic fish things down here, but they're not so tough. Take them out with absolutely any weapon you like. Even your axe, if you can be bothered. Just remember to come up for oxygen every so often. Your character cannot hold his breath worth crap. There are a few enemies scattered about above us. Umbees, scrags, and ogres, but don't worry too much about them. As long as you keep moving in the water, you shouldn't have issue. An ogre will drop down with this elevator. Just greenade his face. Water does not affect greenades at all for some reason. Do you remember episode 2, where we met Death Knights for the very first time? This level has a similar room, where you must extend bridges to progress, if you don't want to rocket jump around. That dumbass crag just took out the ogre. Thank you for removing the dangerous enemy for me, Diction. The episode will at long last cough up the rocket launcher at this point, and near the other bridge are platforms with zombies chucking bits of themselves around. Blow the fuckers up. There is a yellow armor just over there, but I'm going to leave it until I finish the next room, because the next room houses a rather painful ambush. My grenades are better than your grenades, motherfucker. Thresh ain't got shit on me, and everybody knows it. Now then, this switch will raise the rest of the bridges in the previous room, but it will also cause a small squad of paratrooper ogres to lift down and stam the fuck out of green eight. The reason I left the yellow armor alone is because making it through this room without taking any damage is extremely difficult, but I digress. The platform the ogre spawned on is a secret. You can jump up these bricks for some inexplicable reason, go ahead and help yourself to the goodies, and head back to the bridge room. We won't be back here, so now is a good time to grab that yellow armor. There is one final path to take, so let's go motherfuckers. Another ambush in this room, two ogres will leap down to sandwich your ass. Be prepared for them, or be prepared to take a fuckload of damage from the green egg. Ambushes ancient. You can see a pair of ogres below us. They cannot hit you, if you're standing up here, so go ahead, and take the faggots out from this vantage point. Welcome to the super fucking gimmicky elevator room. Your mission in here is to use the elevators, to navigate around to reach the exit at the far end. But if you fuck up, don't worry, a slip gate down near the water will return you to the start of the top section. Squish that motherfucker, and get ready to be ambushed yet again. This level seems to have a thing for them. Standing on this platform will reveal a secret with quite a lot of shit in it. Check it out, we have a 100 health bonus, a yellow armor, and a quad damage among the rest of the stuff. There is a secret in this secret. Secretception. Shoot the lights on the walls to reveal a pentagram. Collect all the goodies. Now then, it's extreme time trial mode. If you can make it to the end of this section, and up the final elevator before your quad damage and pentagram expire, you can save yourself a fuckload of trouble. Take out the ogres from here, and then do a classy jump on the platform, to shave precious seconds off your time. Come on move, move faster. Barely fucking made it. We took out the stupid fiends. Well, that door acts as a nice fiend disposal unit. In we go motherfuckers. There is another secret tucked away in this room. You may notice that all the lights on the ceiling are white, except one which is yellow. Smack it with your axe. It will open up a hidden alcove in the wall, which hides another pentagram. Just as well, because around the corner of Hazikins will spawn, and he will spawn on the thunderbolt. I suspect this Hazikins in question, 
has claimed the most melee hits on players due to them charging down the steps to collect the Thunderbolt. Since we are invulnerable, however, let's melee him. Consider yourself hugged, you fuzzy fluffy cute little bastard. The Thunderbolt is now ours, and that slip gate down there will return you to the beginning of the level and the now accessible exit. But we are instead going this way. A short jump will get you into that hole, and down there is the slip gate leading to the secret level of the episode. And some unavoidable fall damage? God fucking damn it John Romero. Anyway, there is no way back up to the top from here. So in we go motherfuckers. This tiny level housed four secrets, one of which was in another secret, and we got all of them, like a blacks. I'll end this one here. This has been Charles Plays Quake. Thanks for watching as always.